Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with Azure Load Testing. Azure Load Testing is a fully managed service by Azure that makes it easy for you to generate high scale loads. The interesting thing about this service is that you can use your existing JMeter configuration files to run using Azure infrastructures. If you are already a QA person or tester, you are familiar with JMeter and these types of tooling and you can use that existing knowledge to run load tests using the power of Azure. In this video, we are first going to create a sample application and then we are going to deploy Azure load testing service and after that, we are going to create a test in that load testing service using JMeter UI and then we are going to see how the load test works. So let's get started. Now the first thing that we are going to do is creating a sample application. For that, I have this script. Let me copy this and then I'm going to run this on my Azure PowerShell. I'm going to attach this script to the description down below so you can use it if you want. The resources are getting created now. As you can see, the script ran successfully. Now let me copy this link here. So what we have done here is that we have deployed a sample application that will generate prime numbers. Now I'm calling the API. As you can see between 1 and 15,000 there are this number of primes and it took 40 uh, milliseconds to uh, run the program. So this is the application that we're going to use for this load testing demo. Now I'm going back into Azure portal and then I'm in that resource group that we have created. Now I'm going to create this new resource. The resource is load testing. As you can see it is still under preview. Let me click create here. I'm going to close this one because we do not need this anymore. We can specify the resource group here as you can see and then we can specify the name of the uh, the load testing um, account. Now let me call it something like this and the location, the region, I'm going to keep this as it is. East US is fine and as you can see we do not have many regions and that is because the service is still under preview. Now if we go next, we can specify some tags and then we can create this load testing resource. And this is going to take around one minute and let's come back after that. As you can see, the resource is in place. Now I'm going into that resource. They have highlighted three things. We can create new tests, we can learn more about this service and we can integrate with CI CD pipelines. You can integrate Azure load testing with your existing DevOps pipelines so that you can run load tests after each sprint or every week as you like it. You can integrate it and automate that as well. Now if we go into the pricing of this, if I scroll down a bit, this service costs $10 per month and it includes 50 virtual use hours for that month and if you want additional use hours, you can pay 0.15 per additional hours. As you can see, you can learn more about it here. And I have tested this service right before doing this demo and it costed me $10. I'm going back into Azure portal and uh, I'm going into tests now. This is the place where you can create tests and all of the tests that you create will be listed here. And with this one other option, then that is managed identity. With managed identities, you can access other Azure services. In this case, especially for Azure load testing, the main Azure service that you will be accessing is Azure Key Vault for getting your keys that you want for your load testing purposes. Now I'm going back into tests and with this button, you can create a new test. We can provide a name here. Let me call it load test one or something like this and here you can specify a description as well. I'm going to keep this as it is and then you can specify whether to run this test right after test creation. I'm going to keep this disabled and then here we can specify the test plan. This is where you upload your JMeter test script. For that I'm going into JMeter and let me create a uh, small test script a sample one. I'm not that good with JMeter by the way. Let's try this out. And uh, I'm going to create a thread group and we can specify the number of users. Let's uh, let's add 10 users and the ramp up period is the period of time that uh, it takes to create these 10 users. And I'm going to create these 10 users within 20 seconds for this demo. And now let me add a HTTP request. All right. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this path here and then I'm going into JMeter. Let's just update all these fields. It's going to be an HTTPS request and this is the, uh, the server name and this is the path. All right, I have added all the parameters it requires. And the last thing that I'm going to add is a listener to view the, uh, the results. Now this is only useful when we run this using the uh, JMeter UI as you can see here. Now we have configured our simple test. Now let me run this and let's see what happens. Before that, I need to save this script. Let me save this first. All right, I have specified a folder for that. Now let me save this. Okay. Now if I go into we results tree, as you can see, the test is running. Now if I click on it, we can see the response data and uh, the request information and all that. All I wanted to show you is how to run this test and we have saved our JMX file, the test script file. Now we can upload that to Azure. Before uploading that, let me show you one other thing. Now if you go into Azure portal and load section, here we can specify the number of instances that will run your tests. So basically this is the infrastructure abstraction for running your tests. After uploading your test file, Azure uses some kind of a virtual machine or some kind of an infrastructure in the back end for running your tests. You can specify the num number of instances that will be used for running your tests. Now here we can specify the number of instances. So basically this is how you scale out your load test. Here to understand this service, they are giving you this bit of information. What they're saying is that if you specify 250 threads in your JMX file and if you add four engine instances, there will be thousand threads because these four engine instances are running parallelly and that is exactly what we are going to do. And I'm going back into uh, JMeter configuration and here I'm going to add 250 and uh, ramp up period, let's say 30 seconds because we want to uh, see how the test is going. So let me save this file again, control S. Now I'm going back into test plan. And as you can see, we can upload the JMX file. Here we have our JMX file. Let me click upload. All right, I have successfully uploaded the file. Now here we can add parameters, secrets and all that and key vault integration. I'm not going to touch this for this demo. And as you can see, we have already configured the number of instances. I'm going to keep this as it is. And here in the test criteria section, what you can do is you can define test criteria to specify the performance expectation of the system that is under the test. For example, if your API takes more than 20 seconds to return a response, the test should fail. And that is what you can configure here. As you can see, you can set the response time and you can add a condition and you can add the threshold as well. Now we have this monitoring feature. I'm not going to touch this while we're creating the test. After creating this, I'm going to show you how you can use this monitoring feature. Now we have configured everything. Let me create this test now. All right. Now, if I go into the test section, if I click refresh here, all right, as you can see, we have the test that we have created. You can create multiple tests under one load testing resource. I'm going into the, uh, the load testing resource. And then we have a few options here. We can view all tests, we can run it, and we can do some configurations. First, I'm going to run this and let's see what happens. As you can see, right after creating the test, the status is not started. Let me go into the, the test run. And here the status is provisioning because obviously it, uh, it needs to provision some resources, virtual machines or something to run our resources. Now let's wait for around 30 seconds and let's see what happens. As you can see, it is executing now. All right, and it is displaying the, the live metrics of the test that is under execution. Now we have the four number of instances and we have the start time. And as you can see, we have the number of virtual users and the response time and the requests. Everything is here. And these are the client side metrics. And here we have server side metrics as well. I'm gonna show you. In the next step, I'm going to show you how to use this server side metrics. Also, the test ran successfully. We have 1000 total requests and duration is 30 seconds. 
Remember that we have only specified 250 threads and since we have specified 4 instances, the, uh, the load generated 1000 requests. The response time is also here, the throughput is also here, all the statistics are here as well. Now we know how to generate a load using Azure Load Testing. Now let me go back into Load Test 1 and show you one other thing and that is configuration section. We have here these app components. Now if you really think about it, Azure Load Testing is an Azure resource and the resource that we are testing, it is also another Azure resource. So there should be a way for us to integrate these two the metrics of these two into one dashboard and we it in one location and this is exactly what this feature is doing. Now we can specify the related Azure components for this test. This storage account, this is not related for this load test but this application that we have created at the beginning of this video, this is related for this load test because that is the resource that this load test is uh, testing. Now. I'm going to specify this app service and app service plan and then as you can see the metrics section is enabled. We can specify the uh, the metrics that we want to integrate with this load testing. Now we can specify the aggregation as well. I'm going to keep these configurations as they are and then I'm going to run a, another test. The status is provisioning now. Let me go into the test. All right, as you can see, the test is executing. We can see the client side metrics, meaning the testing end of the things here. And if I scroll down a bit, we can see the server side metrics as well. So basically this is the app service that we have deployed here, this one. And we can see the metrics of that app service as well. Now let's wait for around uh, 10 seconds. All right. Uh, as you can see here, we have 1000 requests received by this app service and all the information is here under one screen. So this is the end of this video. In this video, I want to introduce you to Azure Load Testing and what it is and how it works as well. And then I have shown you how to generate a load testing file using JMeter and then we have ran the, uh, the file and we have seen how monitoring works and how the test runs. If you have further questions or comments or anything, please let me know down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today. I will see you with another video like this. Thanks for watching.